Let's go on various Nintendo and Capcom and Sega characters. Uh, we've had an update and some DLC to, uh, to Smash 4. Uh, so we have unlocked the Super Mario Maker stage. There was, it's never the same stage twice. From the screenshots, it appeared that was maybe like a keep moving type stage, which means I'm probably going to hate it. Um, and unlike the pirate ship stage, we hold the Great Sea, and I'm guessing that's basically a port of the Brawl version. Um, say, so you got the ground theme, Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. CD. Uh, I'm not gonna listen to all these. I got some CDs, so oh, there are gonna be a bunch of Mario ones and a bunch of Zelda ones, probably. Yeah, there, say, uh, oh, I didn't see any Zelda ones unless Dragon Roost is Zelda. Um, according to the, uh, the patch notes, for like the character patches, it looks like it was. It looks like the only things that really got changed were um, were like um, were custom moves, and I don't really use custom moves, so uh, I'm gonna just yeah, I don't know. Uh, I got a lot of buffs to his custom moves, but I don't have any custom moves. Um, I get. I'm just gonna go against CPUs because it's too hard to get footage from online. Uh, so, or let's test Super Mario Maker, I suppose. Um, uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's definitely the Brawl version. I think for that I'm gonna go Toon Link, just cause, I mean, you gotta. Um, but, let's see, is that a cat? That's a cat paw. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we got a couple new stages. There's patch notes on Smash Boards. It's... Um, there's some shield and uh, and role changes that are global, but as far as characters uh, individually, it looks like like most of them are like N special three, U special two, U special two, D special two, N special three. They all have numbers after them. Um, so I'm going against those are custom moves. So let's have this Super Mario break, Super Mario Maker. So we can assume that. Gonna... Okay. So. Is this not a keep moving stage? It looks like it looks like there are dynamic elements. I mean, that was to be expected, though. Yeah, I, it, it's kind of appropriate that I'm going against Mario. Um, so, uh, so okay, whoa, okay, yeah, the the stage is definitely changing. I, it looked like the the preview kind of looked like the Super Mario World stage, the one that was in Brawl, and I believe it's in the 3DS version as well. Um. But I don't know anything about the 3DS version. That stage is awful. I, I just I just really don't like stages that move. Um, the uh, the background changing is definitely pretty interesting. Um, and look, let's see. There's no walk offs. If this isn't a keep moving stage, actually, the uh, like if it's just platforms basically and altered layouts, I might have to play this a few times. Then this stage might actually be okay for like tournament legality and such, uh, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm obviously not the one who controls that, but I mean, uh, this stage might not be bad. Uh, it looks like it, during it looks like during the actual game, it's just the theme changes. Um, the actual layout doesn't change mid game. Um, well, I mean, we'll have to see what some other layouts potentially are, um, since it sounds like the layout, uh, you know, with, 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 uh, with the, uh, Wii Fit stage, the, um, the layout changes, you know, while you're playing, but it looks like that's not the case with this one. Okay, that was a bad eruption, I meant to be reverse it. Uh, um, whoops. I, I, I'm better at this than I was in the, uh, in the last video, too, uh, because at that point, that, the last video, if you saw it, which will probably come out like right before this one, uh, but that last video was recorded after having really not played Smash in months. That video was recorded in June. Um, I just never got around to editing it, and I was like, yeah, I, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do the previous one. Too. Um, but uh, I, I've been basically, I basically forgotten about Smash for Splatoon. And uh, this Mario is completely incapable of killing me. Uh, uh, come on. But uh, but now I've I've actually been playing some Smash a little bit more. 
Partially because, uh, if I see Hammerhead Bridge on Splatoon, I just, like, nope the fuck out of there. I hate that map. Um, it's, it's kind of funny because in the Splatoon video, I just re finished recording. Uh, well, it was a portion of one. I had to wait for, wait for uh, the maps to change. But, uh, in the, in the split section of the Splatoon video, I just finished recording. I, I went to Hammerhead Bridge. Okay. I think I'm going to try one more, um, say, one more, uh, sure. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm not going to do just do Fire Emblem again. Let's go with Lucario. And let's try, let's try Super Mario Maker again. Like, it looks like there's some different elements. On the, so, yeah, there, okay, so, yeah, it looks like... Huh, some layouts look like they would be, like, tournament legal-ish. I mean, I'm going to have to play this, this map. Um, play, I, want, I wonder if there's a tourney for it. Uh, that's one thing I also want to cover, uh, in, in this, is the, uh, tourney mode was added, actually, in the last update, and I just didn't realize it was. And I figured it would be, like, some sort of, I figured it would be, like, Brawl's tourney mode, but no, it's, it's actually not. Uh, it's, it looks like, from the description, it's nothing like it, and I've actually, I discovered it, like, weeks ago, but, oh, this stage has a walk-off. Um, so, I assume it's, like, RNG for how these stages are built, because it says it's never the same, the same stage twice. Okay, this Zelda is kicking my ass. Um, partially because, partially because Lucario, well, even then, she's kicking my ass even without reflecting on my projectiles. Um, so let's see if I can just throw her off the stage there. Uh, looks like the answer is no. Um, she can hit me off the stage though. Right. Um, say, so can these be destroyed here? No. It okay, it looks like those can. No, so they're not like the Yoshi's Island ones. Um, so it looks like of the of these two layouts. That, uh, that, that I've seen so far. It looks like the only problematic thing is that this version has walk-offs. Um, which, I mean, I think, you know, if, if you're, oh, oh, they can be destroyed. I guess they just, oh, but they're put, like, right back. Okay. That's not too terrible. Um, but, uh, um, I mean, you could theoretically, if you're doing a tournament, uh, you know, say, like, you, Super Mario Maker is legal, but only, but only if, uh, if it generates, you know, a stage with or without these particular elements. Um, there we go. Um, you know, say, if it's a walk-off stage, then, you know, they have to, you know, restart it. Or something. But, like, like that, that last stage, that, that, that there, was, there was nothing wrong with that. So, okay, these aren't, uh, coming back now. Um, so, oh, there they are. It just, I guess they happened on, like, a set interval. Um, but, like, you know, not from, like, the start of the match. And not, like, uh, not, like, from when they're, uh, taken off. So, it, so timing is a thing. And I failed in extreme speed there. Oh, I think, I think I'm gonna keep, um... Uh, I'm gonna keep going at uh, some layouts for this. I, I honestly, I was expecting this stage to be terrible, but I actually quite like it. Um, let's not be Lucario again. I think I'm going to go. I'm gonna. Who should I go with? I'm gonna go with Rob. Where the hell is Rob? Um, I love Rob. Um, uh, he's definitely far from my main. So if I start the platform, it'll disappear. Oh, okay. So, um, is there? So, there's these little. There's the pipes over here. Do they? Do those do anything? It looks like they're just platforms. Um, say, so, and CPUs don't know how to avoid that. Um, say, so, I wonder if I should if I should get my Link Amiibo in here. I I almost never use the damn thing. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, uh, I don't know, I might try, I'll try to go to, I'll do Mario Maker a few times until I see how many elements uh, of it there are. Uh, I wonder if, like, the uh, the Omega version will, will change theme. Uh, that would definitely mean, I, I don't want it to not change theme. Uh, change, the, changing the theme is actually pretty cool. Um, 
It's just the stage layout that should be the same. Like, th this is almost like, honestly, the, like a stage like this is perfectly fine. Uh, I I almost so it looks like what is this? Uh, oh, I think I know what's going on. It, they're all Mario stages, uh, but they're like different generations of Mario, like the original Super Mario. This looks like it's possibly a newer one. This looks like it's Super Mario World. Um, say, so, and the, what's the next one? Uh, I, I, don't quote me on this. I'm far from a Mario expert. Um, say, so, let's see if we're, let's see. Actually, no, I don't, I think, this might be Super Mario. No, it's not three, because there's not, not the little bolts that are holding everything up. This, this is Super Mario World. There we go. I think that last one was, like, the original. Oh, yeah, you can tell from the music. Does the music change, too? Uh, when the, when the theme changes? But yeah, this is definitely the Super Mario World, uh, music. Um, so I have heard... I... See. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the original. So yeah, the, the music does change with the theme. Um, so yeah, I, and... The, the only Mario game I've played, like, most of is the, is Super Mario World. Um, there's actually a story behind that. Uh, behind the most of part there, which is that it was okay. So my parents got me and my brother a Game Boy Advances for Christmas. Like, oh, it would have been like it was right before the the DS came out. I'm gonna go Zero Suit, and uh, we each got two games with them, and uh, I received. Um, Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Oh, there's a conveyor belt. I receive. See, um, say, can you, uh, oh, so you can sort of, um, set those, you know, like, change those, but I don't imagine they do anything else. Uh, it's just, uh, again, just that. A lot of these are just uh, platforms with a different aesthetic. Um, say, I assume that conveyor belt will actually do things, so if you get on it. Yeah, it, it moves you. I mean, conveyor belts, again, are not exactly game-breaking. Um, I mean, uh, it's kind of annoying that it's heading towards the end, edge of the stick. Can you still grab it? Well, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see if you can grab one. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, but it's kind of hard to get back up, because as soon as you do, you have to jump up. Um, so, come on. But, uh, what is this? But, uh, the, the story about the Super Mario World thing. I received the two games, Star Wars Flight of the Falcon, and it was a Hot Wheels game, licensed game. Um, the Hot Wheels game was okay, but it got really, oh, whoa, shit. But it got really, really old, really, really fast. The, um, the Star Wars Flight of the Falcon game was just complete rubbish. Uh, and I, I, I played it for... Like an hour and couldn't even be I couldn't beat the first level. Uh, it used like a password system and everything. And like, you I was able to beat the first stage of the first level, but if you lose all your lives, you you know the it ends, and you go back to the first stage of the first level. And it was very very difficult. It was like Nintendo hard. I mean, well, it was kind of an, it was on the Game Boy, so <laughs> I'm talking about Nintendo hard in a game. I I've been reading too much TV tropes. Um. Day, which has ruined my life as as promised, uh, which is exactly as it says on the tin. Um, but uh, well, what was I gonna say? Um, so the, the Flight of the Falcon game was rubbish. My brother received uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Spider-Man Three, which I've heard the, like the actual full console versions are rubbish, but the Game Boy Advance version was actually okay. For I mean, it's still a Game Boy Advance game, so it's not going to have the most advanced stuff. Um, but, uh, I mean, it was, it was still an enjoyable experience. But the other game he got was Super Mario World. Uh, so, oh, the, the conveyor belt causes weirdness, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, with grabbing. Um, but the other game he got was Super Mario World, and, uh, uh, and he was gracious enough to let me borrow it, um, pretty often, you know, just whenever he wasn't playing it himself. Um... And, or what, or whatever, he wasn't mad at me, at least. Um, <laughs> which, uh, which uh, was quite often the case, actually. But I managed to, 
I, I, I got to the end of the game. I got to Bowser. And I even tried, I attempted a few times, and he kicked my ass. Um, when, and so I was like, okay, I, I'm done with this for the day. I'll try it, like, tomorrow or something. And I got home from school the next day. You know, I'm like, hey, Michael, I want to, that, that's his name. I should, I should have just said brother for privacy reasons, but fuck it. Um, but, uh, he, uh, I was like, hey, little brother, uh, can I, uh, can I borrow, uh, Super Mario World? And he was like, no, I sold it to my friend at school today. I was like, you motherfucker! Because, you know, you know, nowadays games are, you know, the save data and such is all stored on the actual, like, the system itself. But, you know, with Game Boy Advance, your save data was stored on the cartridge. So, once he, once he sold that cartridge, uh, you know, the friend erased my save games. They were gone forever. And so, uh, uh, yeah, it kind of pisses me off. So, I, I, I get to the end of the game, and I, I can never, can be, I would have to play the whole thing again if I were to ever redo it. I don't know if you want me to play Super Mario Maker, just, uh, Super Mario World. Or Super Mario Maker for the hell of it. If you have any, if you have any requests for things you want me to play, leave a comment or such. Um, say, I'm going. I think I'm going to continue with this stage because we keep seeing new elements pop up, and it seems to be a fairly reasonable stage uh, in terms of you know not having ridiculous hazards. But I have to go do something first, so I'll be back.